Hey guys, Vinny here with Say It Once Dog Training. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you should prepare for our upcoming appointment. If you have a scheduled appointment with me, there's a really good chance you're dealing with a behavioral issue like aggression or reactivity, extreme fear, or so on and so forth. Let me give you the play by play on how our session is going to work. First things first, so if we're dealing with a, a dog who has a bite history or a human aggressive dog, we end up sending you a muzzle training video before our session. You can check it out on our YouTube page. The biggest thing about this muzzle training video is I want you to get your dog conditioned to wearing the muzzle before I come into the house. That acclimation period makes them feel a lot more confident about the muzzle and it's not a new guy jamming it onto their face. This also gives us uh, about 15 extra minutes during the training session that we don't have to waste. And more importantly, it gives us the ability to do a heck of a lot more throughout our training session. For my arrival at the house, I'll either have you leash the dog or kennel the dog for the first five to 10 minutes so we can sit down and have a nice little chat. You can tell me all of your biggest issues, your biggest concerns, and I get to explain to you on what we're going to do for the day. You'll bring the dog into the room and then we get started with a hands-on portion right then and there. Most of the time, we get started with a leash walk and leash skills. Leash skills are one of the most important parts about owning a dog. And if I don't have a dog with good leash skills or that can heal on a walk, how am I supposed to ever bring somebody into my house without a leash? Everything comes down to how does my dog respond to me when I have a physical attachment hooked to him? If we can fix that, then we're in business. After the walk, we come into the house. Your jaw probably hurts from a lot of amazement watching your dog heal to perfection. We go through how to make this walk engaging and fun so my dog never pulls me again, never walks in front of me again. We have to come back into the house. We're going to go through an obedience exercise. Most of the time we do a couple of these. And what's the point of this? The point of this is to give my dog somebody to look and follow, right? Building confidence and trust in the fact that I'm going to be the leader to guide you through this. Not just teach the dog a new thing, but our relationship has to change. As we go through our obedience training, we'll then go over our household rules. How do we bring guests over? How do we stop jumping? How do we stop? Whatever the issues are at that moment. We write down everything at the end of our session. I actually make all of my clients handwrite a list of notes because if you write it down, you're going to be more likely to follow through with it. And that's the biggest thing. Remember, you're going to send me weekly updates after our training session, but I won't see you again for another three to four weeks. You have to make sure we understand not only what we did, but why we did it. And that's the important part. I hope that gives a little insight on how our training day is going to operate. I am extremely thankful that you guys chose Say It Once, and I cannot wait to help you and your dog build a better bond, get more trust, and at the end of the day, have more fun and a better life. If you guys have any questions at all, you feel free to give us a call, a text, an email. If I could ask just one favor, please stop having chocolate out at your house. Okay, maybe have chocolate. I'll see you guys at your training day.